kitchen. So if you're a fan of unicorns, then this video is for you. In this week's video, I'm going to show you how to make these really cute unicorn cakesicles. Now, these are really similar to cake pops, but they're in the shape of lollies. And these would be perfect if you're having a unicorn inspired birthday cake or celebration. Okay. Let's get started. So the things that we're going to need in order to make the cakesicles are, first of all, I've got my lollipop mold. Now, this is just a silicone mold. I've just gone for the mini ones here. So this one is just 38 millimeters by 72 millimeters. I've also got the mini lollipop sticks. I've then just got a cup of white candy melts. I've also got some cupcakes, which I've just baked using my vanilla cupcake recipe. And I've just taken the paper wrapper off of those. I've also got a small amount of vanilla buttercream and then just got some different color icing or fondant so we've got white and some pastel shades I've then got some silicone flower molds so these ones have some really small flowers in that I'm gonna use I've also got a jet black edible pen and some paint brushes some modeling tools and some petal dust okay so the first thing that I'm gonna do is start preparing my lollipop mold now all I've got here is the candy melts in solid form and all I've done is just pop those in the microwave just at intervals of around 10 to 20 seconds just until that is all completely melted into liquid form now all i want to do is create a small layer of the candy melts leaving the middle empty so that we can add our cake mixture to those so all i'm going to do is just take a tablespoon of the mixture and just pop that into each of the lollipop shape i'm then just going to use a spoon and i'm just going to push that around mold just making sure it's coming all the way up the sides now you want the layer of candy melts to be a few millimeters in thickness okay so once you're happy that you've got a nice even layer along the bottom of the tray and up the sides leaving this space in the center all i'm going to do is just push the lollipop sticks slightly into the mold. Now I'm gonna push these in a lot further in order to add our cake mixture and then we'll push them a bit more once that's added. So I'm just gonna pop this in the fridge for about 10 minutes or until the candy melts have hardened. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do is create the cake mix that is gonna go in the center. Now this is very similar if you've ever created cake pops. Um, so I've just got some vanilla cupcakes here and all I'm gonna do is just crumble these into a bowl. Now, if you need to work out how much cake you need, my cupcakes weigh 38 grams each, and I'm gonna add a small amount of buttercream to this mixture. And then gonna use about 15 to 20 grams of the mixture in the small cakesicles. So that should give you an indication of how much cake you will need. Okay, so take a really small amount of buttercream at a time and just work this in. Now, all I'm trying to do is just create a mixture where the cake just clings together okay, so now we've got this dough consistency this is ready to add into the mold now the candy melts have hardened all I'm gonna do is just run around the edge with a sharp knife and just get off any excess candy melts so that it's level on the top okay so I'm then just gonna take my cake mixture and just take small amounts of that. Now it's around 15 grams per one, and I'm just gonna push that cake mixture into the center of the molds. Now, what I wanna do is make sure that I don't go all the way to the edge, just because I want the candy melts that we're gonna place on top, just to join up with the candy melts that are on the side. And I also just wanna leave a small gap on the top, just so we can cover that with a nice flat layer of the candy melts. So now all I'm gonna do is just push those sticks in until they reach the bottom of the mold. Okay, so once you're happy that they are all filled, all I'm gonna do is just pop the mold back into the fridge just to chill the cake. All I've done is just remelt some of those candy melts down so it's at a soft consistency again. And I'm just gonna spoon some of that mixture over the top and then just using a flat knife, I'm just gonna work that into the shape 
and then just run that knife over the top so that they're completely smooth. Now, some of my cake is slightly raised in the center, so I'm just gonna make sure that any cake is completely covered with candy melt. Okay, so because the cake underneath was chilled, the candy melts will start setting by themselves, but I'm just gonna pop that in the fridge just for a few minutes, just so I know that everything is completely set and they're ready to take out of the mold. Okay, so I'm then just gonna pop these out of the mold. and sharp knife just around the edge of those just to clean off any excess. So the first thing that I'm going to do to decorate these is create the horns and the ears of the unicorn. So I'm just going to pop these to one side. I'm then just going to take my white icing and I'm just going to break off a very small amount. So I just want to create a ball which is about a centimetre in diameter. And all I'm going to do is in the palm of my hand just start to roll that out. Now when it reaches about an inch in length all I'm going to do is start tapering those ends. So what I'm looking for is a shape that is slightly thicker in the center and then tapers so it's a lot thinner on the edges and when the whole strand is around three inches in length all I want to do is just pick that up and just fold that in half so that both sides are the same length and you have the thicker side in the center and then gonna pick that end up and just start twisting those two strands together winding them round and this is gonna create the corkscrew effect for the unicorn's horn now, when I've met the end, all I'm gonna do is just lightly roll on those just to bring the two edges together. I'm then just gonna cut that down until it's about an inch in length. And this is just gonna give us the flat edge so that we can attach it to. I'm just gonna put this to one side just to dry slightly. And I'm gonna go ahead and create the ears. Make two small balls around a pea size. And all I wanna do is create a triangle shape with this. So between my thumb and my first finger, I'm just gonna pinch that slightly and just push on that end. I'm then gonna take my modeling tool that has this point at the end and just push that in to the icing. And and this is just gonna give us the indent of the ear. And it's gonna pinch that top corner just into a point and just push on that bottom just to make it flat so that they will sit against our cakesicle. And I'm gonna make two of those. So on this plate, I just have some royal gold petal dust. Now I've just mixed a tiny bit of that with some alcohol just to make this paint. And I'm just gonna use this for inside the ears. So now these ears have dried slightly, all I'm gonna do the inside. Now for the unicorn horns all I'm gonna do is use some of that dried petal dust and I'm just gonna paint that on. Now the reason I'm using the dry petal dust is just because I don't really want to add any liquid to these and the dry petal dust is gonna give us a really nice gold shimmer effect. All I'm gonna do is just take a small amount of that melted candy melt on the bottom of a skewer and just apply that to the bottom of the horn. I'm then just gonna push that the cake pop. And they're gonna do exactly the same with the ears. So I'm just gonna pop a small amount of those candy melts to the bottom of there and just stick that to one side of the horn. Okay, so the next thing that I wanna do is add some really small flowers and this is gonna create flower crown at the top. So I've got these silicone flower molds here and I'm gonna use the small one. So this one has got a small rose in there and we've got two small flowers here. So I've got some ice in here which I've colored in a lilac color, a mint color, a yellow and a pink. So I'm just gonna use these to create some of my flowers. Now when using molds, the trick is just to take a small paintbrush with some cornflour on there and just push the cornflour into the mold or you add the icing or fondant and just dust it out. And this is just gonna make the icing release really easy once you've put it in. So I'm just gonna push some of my icing in there and just wipe away any excess if there is any coming over the mold. I'm then just gonna push that out. So I'm gonna make a few of these in the different sizes and in the different colors. Once I have variety 
variety of the different flowers in the different colors what I'm gonna do is add them to the cake school now all I've got here is I've just melted a really small amount of the candy melts and I've just got a cocktail stick which I'm gonna use to apply them on I'm gonna pop one either side of that and I'm gonna put three down the front so in order to add the eyes, there are some different methods. So you've either got the felt pens that are edible or just some black food coloring, which we can apply with a paintbrush. Now, one tip that I find when making these is once you've put the candy melts in the tray, it makes the font quite shiny. So this tends to mean whether you're using the pen or the food coloring, it doesn't actually sit very well and dry. So what I tend to do is use a cocktail stick and I'm just gonna draw on the front of that, the eyes where I want them and this is just going to scratch into the shiny surface and allow it to be more matte which will take food coloring i've then got some black food coloring here and i'm just going to use this really teeny tiny paintbrush and take a bit of the black on there i'm then just going to go into where i scratched andy melts away and just paint those eyes on so there we have the two eyes and just to finish this cake score off all I'm going to do is I've got a really thin piece of pink ribbon and I'm just going to tie a small bow onto that lolly stick. So there we have our unicorn cake sickle. I really hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial and will enjoy making your own unicorn cake sickles. If you have then please give this video a like and if you'd like to see more videos like this then please hit subscribe. Also don't forget to hit that notification bell next to the subscribe button and this will just alert you every time a new video is uploaded. I'll also put a link below to all my social media so you can follow me there. Bye!